Hi guys, Fairy Jim here. Today we're going to learn to do three things. We're going to learn to do a soft ice splice on the end of the rope, a crown knot and a, uh, a back splice. So you can see we've got this old crummy bit of rope that's coming apart. Shortly it would unfray and in a period of time it would become useless and that's not very good there. So we're going to learn a crown knot to do a back splice, we're going to do a soft ice splice and we'll get started. Things you'll need is you'll need a sharp knife, some electrical tape and something to burn the ends of the rope with. Alright, so I'm going to move, I'll start with this bit which is, looks like the worst end. I'm going to move this rope off the table here I'm going to bring it over to here and I'm going to put two bits of tape on this. I want to start with a clean end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back a few centimetres from the end of the rope and I'm just going to put one turn on there and then I'm going to go down about, I don't know, 250 give myself a bit or if you like it in the old way about 10 inches down to here and I'm going to put another one on there and that's all okay. and I'll explain that one after so I'll go back to the first one here we've got our first one on where we've got our bit of rubbish rope I'm going to take my knife bit of rubbish, well that didn't work out very well <laughs> not happy at all so I'll just unlay that a bit. This bit of tape here stops the rope from unlaying past it. So I'm just going to give myself a bit to start with. I'm going to twirl that end up and take my cigarette lighter. Just shows you don't have to be perfect. Get it done. I'll give him a burn too. Alright, so that's melting the ends of the rope together. You've got two types of rope in the world. Alright, so we've got our ends there. So what I'm going to do now is I'll move that knife out of the way. And I'm going to unlay this. Undo it. Alright. I'll get my three ends like that. Okay. I've got them coming out at 45 degree angles. There's my three bits of rope. Get that lighter. And I'll just get rid of the cutting board now, we don't need that. So, there's my three bits of rope. This is going to be the start of my eye. Right, so I want a reasonable size loop because I'm going to use it, the rope, to tie up onto a boat, onto the shore. So, you know, you can make the loop as small as you like or as big as you like. Uh, that'll do me, about there. So we get our rope there, put that over there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this bit of the rope and I'm just going to open it up, twist it left and right. You see there? So you got that hole there. And close it up, twist back, twist to the right, and that opens up. Alright, so. Any one of these, the three could be the middle. If I look at it that way, that one's the middle. If I turn it, that one's the middle. Turn it again. Just pick the middle one. So I'm going to lay it like that. So now I'm going to twist again. I've got my loop there that I've made. I'm going to take the end of the rope and I'm going to pass it through. And I'm just going to pull it tight there it is, that's one through. Now I'm going to make sure my loop's nice and straight. There is my loop. No twists in it. Good, I'll move it off screen. Now, there's the start of my splice. So I'm going to lift this one and I'm going to pull it towards me. Okay. Yeah. You see here, we've got, there's my second one. We've got a layer of rope there. And lay there. So with splicing you go over one, under one, over one, under one. So I'm going to come over this one and I'm going to go under that one. 
So what I do is I push and twist again and I get the loop like that. There that. And I take my rope, I'm going over this one and under that one, which is the next one. So I poke that through there. Pull it tight, pull it in. Now when I pull it in, I'm actually twisting it to the right so that it lays back in. So there I've got two tucks. Each one of those is a tuck. Now I'm going to turn the rope over and my third one, this is the locking tuck. You only have to do this once. This is what locks it together. Alright, so our third one, we're going to turn it over. We've got one going out there. See they're almost straight? You can see that one there? We've got them going 180 degrees. We need to come back towards it. So I'm going to open that up as I did the other ones. I'm going to take my bit there, my uh, bit, I'm going to pull it through the other way. You can see how that is unlaying there? See that? So I'm going to fix that up by twisting it and pulling it tight. Turn it up. So, when you have your rope, now you should have them coming out at 45 degree angles. One, two, three. Okay, 45 degrees to each other. Okay, now, see in here? It's not really good. So to fix that up, I'm going to hold the rope and I'm going to pull on these and I'm going to pull it up so it beds in nice and tight. That'll do for now. Alright, so now that's the hard part done. We're talking about different types of rope, we're talking about natural rope and mad made rope. This is nylon rope. So with nylon rope you need to put five tucks in, that's one. So now we're going to go over this one, the nearest one from that one. We're going to go under that one. Over, under. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist the rope out. There's my little eye there. See that guys? I can take that. I'm just going to go over and under. Now, hang on to that, that one you just done and pull it back towards you. And in the act of pulling it back towards you, you'll see your next one becomes apparent. You're going to go over that one and under that one. See that? Over that one, under that one. So now I'm going to push that out again, get my loop, take my piece over, under, pull it through. Now once again I'm going to pull it back to me. You're starting to see it there, there it is. There's my next one, I'm going to go over that one, under that one. Over, under. Alright, so there we go. Over that one, I've just twisted it. You'll find the rope gets easier to work with. I'll twist that through. And now, I've got two tucks in. Now I'm just going to pull them tight again. Hang on to the base of the rope where your eye is. You see my eye is starting to form. There's that black tape that I left there so it didn't unfray. And you see that's up nice and close. Doesn't really matter which one you start with now, you just pick one. So now I've got the, I'm going to go over that one and under that one. Over that one, under that one. Roll it out so I get my loop. Through, pull it tight, pull it back. Okay, do it again. So I pulled that one back to me. So I'll just do that up again so I'll show you. Pulled it back towards me. I'm going over that one and under that one. Okay. There we go. Twist the rope as you pull it through. Pull it back to me. You'll see it's starting to show. Over that one, under that one. Over that, under that. There's my third tuck. Just about done. Yep, it's done. So now I'm going to pull it tight. You can start to see the over under effect of the splice going through the rope. Now just give it a squeeze, put tight, work that tuck in. Okay, I'm going to get a half turn of my loop so because it's man-made I'll have to put in another two tucks so 
anywhere, just over that one and through. Pull it back to me. So I'm going to go over, under. Over, under, pull it back to me. Over, under, that one. My fourth tuck. You can see we've got a little bit of a rise there. That's why you're pulling the rope tight to bed that in. So we're bedding those tucks in. Big heavy rope, you'd be hitting it with a wooden hammer. Over under, our last tuck coming in. Pull it back, you can see there, our, over that one, under that one. And now for our last tuck, pull it back towards me. Last one, see it there, stands out. Over under. That's our fifth tuck. There's our splice, there's our eye. Now that won't pull out, that rope will break before that eye will pull out. Okay, just work it in. And we give it a rub, like that. Put it between your hands and give it a rub. And that just works the rope into itself. And when I finish this you'll see that it's going to be hard to tell what was the original rope and what was the tuck one. You see what I mean? It's hard to tell. Alright, now that we've done that we've got to finish it off. So, I'll show you how we do that. As I said, uh, now we're going to finish it off. So we need to get rid of these ends, dog the ends. Now if I had a sharp knife, I would just cut them and burn them, but because I haven't, I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on it to make it easier for me to cut. So you put it on up near the end. I've got a sharp knife, but this binds the rope together and uh, gives you a bit of meat, a bit of purchase. I'm cutting it, a bit of a trick. Twist that up a bit. Twist it up so it's tight. Put a bit of tape on it. You'll find that the roll of electric tape is invaluable when you're working with rope. Doing a bit of maintenance like that. So I got those there like that. I'm going to bring my cutting board back. Okay. I'm just going to get up to get a bit of purchase on this. There's my first one. Just did nice and close enough you can see it. Alright. See? So I've cut them nice and close. I'm going to give them a bit of a burn. Just to mount the ends of them. I'll leave that electrical tape on, it just keeps it together. And then I'll just touch that with a knife. Next time I do any splicing, I'll make sure I've got a sharp knife. Just touch it like that. And this one. You don't want to be touching it with your hand because it's nylon and it'll burn and stick to it. If it gets sticks to that, that's good. Now, just to uh, make it neat and tidy, you could leave it like that. I don't particularly like it. I'm just going to get my electrical tape and I'm going to start about a little bit above it. Go around once, a couple of times, down onto the rope itself, work it back. Top. Pull that off. Even with a blunt knife, that finished up pretty good. Okay, a bit in well there. There's our loop. Nice loop. And that's the first part done. Hi guys, very Jim here. 
We're going to do the second part now. We're going to do the crown knot. The crown knot's used to stop a uh, rope unlaying. It's the basis of what the back splice is uh, based on. So I've cut this off camera. I've left a little bit of black tape on. You normally cut it halfway through the black tape. So you'd be cutting it, you know, the black tape would go to there and you'd cut in the middle. A little bit frayed. So what you do is I've got a burner here. A bit better than a cigarette lighter. And you just burn that. You see that's burning there, all three of them. Alright, now they will be joined together when I open them up. The Stanley knife now, or not Stanley knife, but similar. I'll just cut that. Put it off screen. Undo this. Now, it won't be, I can see it's not totally done. That one's not done, so I'm going to stop straight away. And then that one. I should probably so what I'm going to do, on. about back here, where that blue mark is there, I'm going to put a bit of tape there, and then I'm going to unlay this. Tape there. I'll leave a tail on it so it's easy to undo. There's the tail. And the tape. And we'll just unlay this. There's our three strands. Three strands of rope. Now, we'll just put this down. We're going to do our crown knot now. So we've got our centerpiece, left and right, whatever you want to call them. I'll do this towards you. The secret is, there's two secrets in this. One is, you just do a loop with the centerpiece. Okay? You just do a loop with it. Just to loop the center piece there like that. Now, you see that strand there? I'm going to bring this one around there and over the top of that one. That's the secret. So it's going around and it's just going to lay over the top. Alright, nice and easy. Can you guys see that? It's just come around from the side and laid over the top. Now this one here, just pick it up and just pass it through the middle. That's all you need to do. Pass it through the middle. Now I'm just going to pull down a bit on all three as we go. Nice and gentle. And that's the crown knot. All there is to it. Alright, I'll just undo it. And we'll do it again, just so you can see. Alright. So you work with the centerpiece away from you. So if I was doing it towards me, I'd have it that way, away from me. Do it towards you so you can see. You just make a loop with the center one. There's our loop. Alright. Take the side one and you put it and you rest. It's got to go over the side of this one. Don't go under. Don't go under there. Go over the top of it. And we're going to pass this one through there from that side. Right. So on it goes. And we just work it down. Just pulling each individual strand. So we start working it down so that knot starts to get tight. You can see now it's getting quite tight come up on that black tape. There's that little bit. There it is there. I'm going to undo this now because I need to splice into this rope and I can't do with that black tape there. Now that black tape's off, I'm going to work that knot down tighter. It's going to move into the area. And uh, you can get this quite tight. I'm giving a reasonable pull on that. And there's your crown knot. And you'll see once again, as with the ice splice, our strands of rope are at 45 degree angles. Okay. That's how you know you've done it right. There's your crown knot. Nice and easy. You do that any time, stop a rope from unlaying. Alright. I'll just 
blow that out there for a minute. And now we're going to get into the black spice. Alright, we're going to start now. So we've got our crown knot. And just take it nice and easy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with this one. Same with the splice. I'm going to go over one, under one. Exactly the same. So I'm going to open this one up. Just open up nice and easy. Like that. It'll be fairly loose because you've unlaid it. See the loop there? And I'm going to pass it through there like that. So I'm going to go through. I'll just pull it through. Not too tight. I'm going to pull that strand back towards me, so I see the next one, and here we have over one, under one. So this strand here is going to go over that one, and under this one. So I'll just open that up, once again, it'll be easy because you've unlaid the rope. Poke that through, I'm just going to give it a twist because it's unlaying. Now I'm going to go back to the other side, my final one. Pretty straightforward. A little bit tricky here because you haven't got the lay of the rope. You can see that's curling around through there, but we're going to go over that one and under this one. If you're confused, just remember they're going to come out at 45 degree angles to each other. And that's your first strand. If I hold that up like that, you'll see that they're all out at 45 degree angles. And because this is old rope, it's starting to unlay. See that? All the holes there? So as I go through, I'm going to be twisting this to close it up. Now at this stage, I'm not going to do tighten much up. I'm going to put another tuck in. So it doesn't matter really where I start. I'll put it down here. Pull it towards me. This one here is going over one, under one. This one is going to go over that one and under that one. Open that up, that'll be a little bit firm as you work away from the crown knot. Now, give it a little bit of pull, pull it back towards me. Now as I pull it back, I can see the this one here is going to go over that one and under this one. Over, under. Let's work that out. Get my strand there, pull him through. Pull it back towards me, and like before, you'll see it's very simple now. We're going over this one and under that one. Okay, now I've got a couple of tucks in. I'm going to start pulling tight on it, and I'm going to give it a rub as I go to bed it in. Start to see that's looking alright. Put a couple more tucks in. Once again, doesn't matter where you start, just pick here, over one, under one. Just open that up. See that? Pretty straightforward now. Should be getting the hang of it. Pull that strand towards you. Over one, under one. Time you're doing a back splice, you should, once you complete a tuck, just so I'm going to bed that down. Can you see that there? See that's up high? So I'm going to pull on that one, which is it, and it'll bed in. Bed in, bed in. Give it a rub, give it a roll. That's three, I could stop at that, but uh, I'm just going to use up the rope. So I'm cutting it, so I'm just going to do this quite quickly now. Another tuck, that one's in, give him a pull, give it up. Something there. Probably with that, probably get another two tucks in, maybe another one. Maybe another one tuck will do it. Because it's only a, a back splice, you don't have to do the five. It's not going to do any work, it's just to stop the rope from unlaying. Okay. Alright, give it a rub. Still got a little bit left. Might just put in one more. Poke him in. I'm not going to save cutting it because I haven't got a sharp knife. That one. When they get to the end, they won't all lay because the fact that they're going over and under, 
opens the lay up and it'll pop out. Just like that. So that's the end of it there. Okay, so I'm just going to take my lecky tape like before. I'm going to start at the back here, about here, just back behind the dogs. Tags. Go around once. Like that. And I'm just going to work my tape around. Keep working it around until I get right down onto the thin rope. Thinner part, and I'm just going to come back over the top. Work it in. Like that. You don't have to finish it off this way. I just like to. Makes it neater. There we have our back spice. And at the other hand over here, we have our eye spice. Ah. Back spice and eye spice. Look at that. So that has made what was a pretty tardy bit of rope. A very attractive piece of workable rope now. Alright guys, the moral of the story is have a sharp knife. <laughs> See you later.